Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 541. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 539 to 550. Hey, in this trick here we have a, a data set of some trend, transactions and we ha want to return the last price in this column based on criteria in these two columns. So for example, our formula needs to re return 32 because the criteria is jacket and medium. Find the jacket here, medium here. Those records we're interested in. And where's the last one? 32. If I change this to a uh, sweater, it should return a 12 because that's the last one, etc. Now, um, let's go ahead. We're going to just use the lookup function, just a single function. But we'll use some cool tricks inside the lookup function. Now lookup is similar to VLOOKUP in that it, it can look something up and return something. It only does approximate match, how, however, uh, which means if we have a large a value that's larger for the lookup value than anything in the lookup vector, it'll take the last one. So we're eventually going to create a string of trues and falses based on this criteria here. Uh, we'll convert those to ones and divide by zero errors. The lookup value we want to use is 2 because lookup value, this 2 will be bigger than anything in our lookup vector, comma. Our lookup vector, we're simply going to say 1 divided by, open parentheses, open parentheses. Our first criteria is this, when that's equal to jacket, close parentheses. That's the first set of criteria. And we'll do, how about multiply? Um, this column here is equal to this. Now what does this do? Close parentheses on that one, close parentheses. Anytime there's a true here and a true here, it'll be true times true is 1. Anytime there's a false, true, true, false, 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 it'll get a 0. But guess what? The 1 divided by 0 or false will give us an error. And that will help prevent when there's not a match up here, that'll help prevent returning a value. Because if we didn't use this right here, when there's no matches, it would just be a string of zeros. And looking up two and a string of zeros, it would go to the last zero and always take this last value here. But when we one divided by, and we can see this, F9, now we have an array of ones and divide by zeros, right? When they're all divided by zeros, in the lookup will return a, um, an error, which is fine. That means it's, this match doesn't exist. Right now we say, hey, lookup 2, it goes all the way to the end, and we'll find the 32. Now wait a second. Usually when you do lookup, right, you look this up and it tries to find that and it returns the 1 to the cell. But that's the lookup vector with lookup you can have a result vector, and our result vector will simply be this. What the logic is, hey, look up value 2. It finds the last one here. The position in this array right here relates to exactly the position here. And so it will return the 32. Close parentheses. And this, although there's an array part of it using Boolean logic here, uh, we don't have to use Control-Shift-Enter because lookup can handle an array, control enter. No curly brackets right there. So let's test it. We got our 12, we got our large, our 38. And uh, what the power of this is really when, and there it is, we get a large. If you took this out right here, it would return the 32 because this string right here, or this array right here, is all zeros, F9. And so 2 looks through there and says, hey, there's the last one. Control Z, I'm going to click Escape. So, uh, and then Control Z, I can see there's no 1 there. Control Z, small, and there it goes. All right, so uh, finding the last value in a column based on criteria in two other columns using lookup 1 to get the divide by zeros and some Boolean logic. See you next trick.